Okay, well, it looks like Nintendo has graced us with several games for the Switch Online service for the Super Nintendo. I went on here. I don't think it updated yet. Uh, let me see. And I want to check the Japanese version, Super Famicom, see if they put any games up for that. But when I went on here a moment ago, yeah, there's nothing new. So what we need to do, if it, you know, hasn't updated, is just go to software update via internet. And then it'll download the update, and then you'll get whatever the new games are. So we got to give that a moment. There it goes. Successfully downloaded the data. I guess it's installing it now. Their rental service of games that we don't get to keep. And who knows how long these are going to be up for. But you know what? If you already pay for the service, I, I guess it's a bonus. There we go. See? Now we got the games unlocked. That's how you do it, man. So we got Wrecking Crew 98, which I'm, I'm intrigued by. Look at that Mario with the freaking helmet, like Mario Maker type action. But this game came out in 98 for the Super Famicom. It was like a sequel to Wrecking Crew, but it never came out in the U.S. It was like for their like service thing, download service, and then they released it on cartridge. I, I don't know the exact story. And then we got Super R-Type. Cool. The third one, just by that box shape, we knew it was going to be a Super Famicom game. Her, her Becky something... I, I don't know, man, but we're going to test these games out. Let's try this one first. I already know what Super R-Type is like, but uh, we'll check that out real quick. But I just want to see if these games are any good. They're interesting. Sunsoft. They just did a video on a bunch of Sunsoft games. They have some cool stuff. I think this is their... Um, from what I read of this game, I think this was like their first entry in trying to make like a fighting game type thing. This is what... I don't know what any of this shit says, man. I'm just going to say okay on the first one. Man. Okay. Character select, maybe. Um, I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick this dude. <laughs> like, it's cool that we get these, these Super Famicom games, but when you can't read this stuff, like, you got to bust out your phone and, you know, use Google Translate to figure it out. I could have done that right now, but I figured out oh, the first option's got to be fine. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's a fighting game. It's a little a little brawl game. I think you could have, yeah, you could have up to four players. Like a, a, a Smash Bros type of type of game. Can we kick people? Can we kick this little oh, nugget off of the thing? Oh, I got him. Right on. Okay, why did the thing fl fly away with the little heart? I guess you get power-ups in the game. Okay. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there's an English translation of this available out there. What is this, round two? Let me use some different buttons. Oh my god, there's like... Lightning and shit. Uh. Do I got special moves and stuff? Oh, I want to try to get him. Can I knock him off the edge? No. No, you can't. Damn it. Oh, we got two this time. A little penguin bitch brought one of his friends. Oh, I thought he was just going to sit over there. Oh, you want some too? I, I I, mean, okay, yeah, some cutesy little graphics, but I actually kind of I kind of think this is cool. I'm going to check if there's an English translation for this, and if there is, I'm going to load it up on my uh, EverDrive. Oh, we could jump on that little gear. Oh, oh what's going on? Okay, there's, there's, it, it obviously seems like, okay, you start out uh, pretty basic, and then as the fights go on, things start getting real crazy, because I don't know what all this shit is on the screen right now. There's a little bit of slowdown, too, with a lot of stuff going on here, but it's still pretty cool. But next, Super R-Type, you know what Super R-Type is about. I, I'll play it for a quick minute, but um, I'm more interested in these games that we never got in the U.S. So yeah, R-Type. There we go. We're shooting shit. It's cl it's a it's definitely a classic. So I'm down in it. But let's check out Wrecking Crew '98. Oh, you have the original, and then '98. That's cool. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But I don't know what any of this stuff says other than exit. Son of a bitch. That's okay. It says Mario's gonna wreck it. That's all it says right there. 
Let's go. I'm pretty sure I heard there's an English translation for like a fan translation, not an official translation. So this might be one that I, I check out. I don't know if it's any good. Wait, this is a fucking puzzle game? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, um, <laughs> not the biggest fan of puzzle, puzzle type games, but, uh, I mean, I don't know if there was other game modes here, but interesting nonetheless, you know, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting wrecked by this little thing. This bounce back, man, knockback where you just bouncing everywhere. Frick, it sucks, dude. What is the end goal here? Oh, you can rotate them to line them up. I would have to find out because I, I really, really have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just destroying everything. I don't, I don't know what the end goal is. So, you know, my bad. You're probably like, what? The, if you, you're probably like a Wrecking Crew 98, like, expert. And you're watching my video. And you're just getting angry watching me play. Like, you idiot. You're not supposed to be destroying all the blocks. You're supposed to do some other shit. Hey, but it just said nice, so screw you. I just, I just won or something. Or not. Japanese. See what they got. I'm, I'm going to assume they got the same thing, the same set of games, but sometimes you'll be surprised. They might just get something totally off the wall. There's four games, unless I missed something previously, which I don't think I did. Oh, so they got four games. We got three. What the hell is that? Wait, that looks familiar. What is that? The hell? Did they already get that other game? That that freaking uh, fighting game that we just got? Did they already get that before? And I just never realized it? Okay. I, I don't know, man. But got some Battletoads action up in here. So they got a Battletoads game. Uh, did we already get this? I don't even remember. I can't remember half of the shit that we get on the service. I do play some of these games on occasion, especially the ones that have uh, online play, because that's like really the only benefit, in my opinion, is like, you know, these games that have like multiplayer, you could play online. That's like really cool, you know? But beside that, yeah, I don't know. There we go, okay. Exit. What was this one? This looks so familiar, and I'm like, it's it's you know not not hitting my brain. I don't know why this this looks familiar to me, but I'm lost as to what game this is. Probably people screaming at the screen like you jackass. It's whatever. Uh, sorry, I don't freaking know. The box art looked familiar though, but I don't know what this is. But there you go. The latest games on the uh, Nintendo online rental service. Cool. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.